Hi, it's Goy from SEOs Unite. Uh, just sitting down with the Content Foundry beta. I'm going to generate a project for GSA Search Engine Ranker, since that's what a lot of guys will be using this for. And we're going to take a look to see how that works. I haven't done this that often, so you may have to bear with me a little bit as I go through. I'm just selecting a project that I had already preset as a test uh, template. GSA Search Engine Ranker. From what I understand, he'll be adding other templates there shortly. Um, going to select a, pro a currently existing project to use a general layout and structure for how I want Content Foundry to uh, build the project for GSA. Uh, the new project name I'm just going to name uh, CF Test 1 and keyword words to use for searching. I'll use them all. Uh, URLs will be Tier 1. And I'll select all the content sources since I'll have all of that available to me with the content generated with Content Foundry. Uh, for the keyword, I'll just use Mail Enhancement, which is not really that far-fetched for anyone that knows me. I'll go ahead and I'll generate the project. Okay, you can see down in this lower bar, it's building its content to use for the project. And it does that really uh, pretty well. I mean, I've, I've done this just a handful of times, but I've been very happy with all of the content that's generated for the projects. It's not quite human readable. It's, it may not pass most, uh, you know, moder human moderator standards, but it, it does do a very good job of just filling out your project for the basic link building things that you're going to be using GSA SER for. And you can see how it works. I mean, it is building some really large content files here for everything involved. And, uh, you know, that, that variety is really important when you're building thousands of links uh, so that everything looks random and unique. And that's really the important thing as far as search engines, particularly Google, uh, is concerned, is that the content uh, is actually unique. Not so much that it's completely readable, they haven't gotten that far yet, but unique is the important thing. And Content Foundry uses a variety of, of methods to make it unique. Uh, you know, there's some, uh, some word spinning involved, but it's not through the typical means that you might be used to. It doesn't use something like SpinChimp or the Best Spin or anything like that to get it done. I don't know that the developer really wants me to release any of the secrets about how it works just quite yet, but uh, I'm sure you'll find that comes out when the product's closer to being ready for release. And this thing is still just generating away and churning away in content. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to blank out the screen on you. You'll have to forgive me for that. Um, you know, the only thing I wish you could do is limit the number of sentences and content, comments and titles and things. Oh, there we go, all done. Uh, but, you know, when we're talking about completely unique stuff, that's probably not a big deal. Let's go ahead and open GSA Search Engine Ranker here and take a look at our project. If you hear printer go off behind me, that's, that's just me. Okay, CF Test 1. Let's look at it here. URL right there. There's our anchor text. And you can see it pulled the email from a project from before. Okay, you can see how it works. That did fill in all of the content fields necessary. Let's go ahead and test, see how that looks. Yeah, it all looks good so far. Um, so you can see it, it generates all the fields that you need. And it does so pretty quickly. OK. Click OK. Even did the PDF. We'll select all of the possible options here other than form. I'm not a big fan of form. Uh, let's see, what are we missing here? A little tip if you have uh, some updates that came in and you need to go through and select all the most current things, you can just go ahead and double click on the check mark. There's other ways to do it, that's just the quickest way for me to do it. Okay, uh, let me check out our options here. I've got to select all of the... Check all, there we 
go. Click OK. Open up GSA Capture Breaker, of course, because that's if you don't have GSA Capture Breaker, you should really get it. It's very handy, very useful. And go ahead and start running our project. You can see that all the content instantly validated with the Content Foundry uh, application, and it's running. Oh, actually, it's not running. A couple other projects were running. Let's get this one running. There we go. Started right away. So uh, that's pretty much how easy it is to get up, get set up and running with the Content Foundry beta so far with the GSA Search Engine Ranker. Um, I think you're going to find it's a really handy application for doing a wide variety of things. I'm going to end this video here, and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on Content Foundry as it gets closer to release. Talk to you later. Bye.